probably looking for a short. I'm not sure on this. Could short 51 6B. Um, but I'm gonna just hold back a little bit uh, because we're supposed to be patient on 6B, I believe. Um, patient for the entry and patient for the exit. 92 would be the target on that one. So in less than a minute, in 45 seconds, if this leaves a wick, I can go like three and a half. My stop would go seven and a half, would be wonderful. Even if it goes, I'm, I'm not gonna put it above the high or anything like that, I don't think. I'll just go with whatever the price is. Ideally, three and a half would be nice. Maybe I'll add, maybe I'll add a half a tick just to make sure. 22. 22 and the stop's gonna be okay now it's ticked down to two and a half two and a half would leave us stop at six and a half with four um what am i saying yep with four ticks risk so that's what i'm gonna do there the normal four we got two and a half and we're looking for two so that means we need 21 Gonna short there. Let's just make sure that that is where it, indeed where it needs to be. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so pausing for now. Okay. Um, a reversal candlestick with a 43 close would be perfect here on this 6B short at two and a half, which I hesitated on in the first instance because I wasn't sure whether I needed to get this stop above this high or not. Take whatever happens. The target is 92. We got in 102 and a half. Okay, so we're five ticks in favor now for four risk, but there's still no way out of it that I can see. Not the best close in the world at all. So all we can do, it did go five in favor, but there's no reversal. So we have to hold into the 6C trade, which is still half a tick under at the moment. And I've just seen what I need to see, 43 in um, 6B after it broke that high. So that's the reason why I'm in there at 43. The stock goes above this price-based HSR, one tick above half number so that's that and the target is 94 we're already halfway into that stock but it looked good to me so I took it 6c is half a tick away from my stop so let's see what's going on there um, but I did right to get in that and I'm not going to put the stop above that high because it makes no difference in my research I'm back straight away because as I said here's where I would like to see it crack somewhere around this 37 mark so it doesn't have to be exactly here but somewhere around here if we see a sharp move down that's going to be indicative of head heading towards 94 okay there it seems to be going now so it's probably time to start thinking about trailing Definitely, if we get to 24, then we can go to 32. Is it a reversal signal or not? What I will do for sure is if it breaks to 29, I will go to 31. Pausing for now. So it has gone to 29. I'm gonna go to 33 now just in case this is a reversal. So we've locked in 10, positive on the day. Let's see if it can tank and get to our 94. Looks like we might see that 24 in a second. There's 24, I go to 31. So now we've got one and a half locked in. If we break through 19, we get to 18 or even 19 quite frankly, but definitely 18. 
then I will trail to 27, okay? I'm going to call it, let's see if we get 18 as well. Yeah, okay, that's enough for me. We got a two to one locked in now. Let's see if it can tank towards 07 and then finally 94 through the whole number of 4100. Um, and so this is where the move should come aggressively now. So as we've switched over candle and it's midday, we can now go to 19. So now we've locked in 24 for our eight which is 8, 16, 24, 3 to 1. And it's just going to be a case of whether it follows through now or not. If it does, that's the icing on the cake. Um, I will continue. As I said, if I get to 07, beyond 07, then I'll be, or around 07, a tick or two before, then I'll be super aggressive. So if we get to 09, I'll probably go 011. I'll go 11. 30, 28 seconds left with this bar. And uh, definitely if it breaks down to 12 again, I'm gonna go to 16 because that should, okay, there we go. Um, what did we say? Uh, we're gonna go to 11 if we get, if we get seven-ish, nine I said, so that's fine. Let's see what happens. There's the end of that bar. Nine. So we're at 11. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, out there. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna pause for now. We got 32 ticks there with eight of risk. In at uh, 43, out at 11. 43 minus 11 is 32, divide by eight. Four to one there, so a nice, nice trade on 6B. I believe my biggest trade in probably this month, I'd have to check, but I'm, if it's not the biggest trade of the month, it certainly isn't any less than the second biggest. And that's after taking a 6C loss, so um, 195.20 on the 6 B short minus 44.80 on the the um, 6C short as well, and uh, that leaves me up $150.40 in three hours and seven minutes of quote work. So I'm going to fill out the spreadsheet and then be back with the charts and spreadsheet back in a bit.